This is Giro Ducky. I'm going to do the back garden, um, but also show you a little bit of the porch. This uh, mallow, uh, you know, would take over the house, but it's actually wonderful because it shades the porch so beautifully, and it's just a beautiful plant. Um, and I put up this fence on the gate so my dogs won't get out. This is really nice. It's almost like another room here. So we're going around here to the back. This olive tree, a friend gave me this. It hasn't exactly thrived, but it cannot be moved because the roots now went into the ground. I mean, you could try, but we couldn't move it. Um, over here, some deer grass is doing pretty good. Some of these, you know, the things, everything is like different ages because they were done at different times. These deer grasses are really just a few years old, as is the California buckwheat, which is just the most amazing thing. Um, I created these mounds because I had all these this dirt from pots and I needed to do something with it and I just stuck in a bunch of succulents that I had, but you know, they're not native. You know, this isn't particularly attractive. I think over time though it might get better. That Palo Verde has bloomed in the past. It kind of looks dead now. Um, okay, so over here, uh, so one thing I should mention is right next to the creek and the the, the water district owns about 18 inches from that fence, and we had a big to-do over the fence and all that stuff. Marie can tell you about that if you want to hear it, or you can call me. Um, but any, in, in any case, um, the, this thing used to be completely covered with ivy. The ivy came all the way back to the house. You couldn't get in the back, back gate. If you look at old pictures of the house in Google, you can see that. Um, so the, the, the water district actually removed uh, all of the ivy and as a mitigation thing. I mean, I, I convinced them to do this. I actually they didn't take much convincing um, And then you know, they put up that fence there, which is really nice and then they, they the, the manager didn't like it and so we argued over this and just asked Marie about that. These are the um, mallows I planted these little seedlings. They're just maybe two years old, maybe two and a half years old. And they're just wonderful I wish I had finished and of course there's a lot of um, Clark is coming up um, <clears throat> there's more clarkies over here, and there's lots of, unfortunately, lots of weeds. Uh, oh, I didn't mention, but there's several, or at least one ground squirrel that lives here. There's a lot of little nests, and that's why there's all this dirt here, more clarkies. My whole idea was to build a habitat garden, so I'm okay with the squirrels. And uh, the only thing they did one time is when I planted those buckeye seedlings and you know a bunch I planted a hundred and that that night they took them all so I had to plant them all again and put a wire on top um you see these buckeyes everywhere because this is what they did with them you know those squirrels I like them um I don't know if these are I've never seen this before these may be weeds but I've, I've you know thrown out a lot of wildflower seeds but I don't know this thing used to be cut back it was uh it was on top of a cover that I had here, and then when we removed the cover, it fell down. Um, I'm leaving the hoses. Uh, hey, back here. These uh, artichokes were actually the very first thing I planted. At one time, I had hundreds, at least a hundred artichokes from them. They don't like all the shade now, uh, so they have not thrived lately. Um, and there used to be a cover here too to um, cover up this. They built, they remodeled the house behind me, and it used to be way back in the distance, and now it's like in your face. I actually put up a carport here to, you know, I prefer to look at the carport than to look at that house. Um, but in anticipation of the future, I planted some plants that will get big enough, you know, in years. This is a holly leaf cherry, and. Um, a, a toy on the toy is much happier back here. There's another holly leaf cherry, but it's not as big as this one. I don't think it it gets enough uh, sun. And we get it more now that the carport is gone. So this backyard used to be a fantastic wildflower meadow. I may have 10, 15 different kinds of wildflowers. If you look on the website page, you'll see that. But over time. There's fewer wildflowers, fewer varieties. This really much poppies and tansy facelia, and lots more weeds. And I did not put down cardboard here. We started putting um, in perennials, and I think the reason, though, that the wildflower meadow isn't 
like it used to be is because this um, blue elderberry, which was planted by a bird or a squirrel, has become quite large. It's not very old, maybe four years old, maybe five years old. And it's been trimmed way back so it looks more like a tree than a bush. It has billions of berries and billions of flowers. Um, but it does create shade. And, um, you know, so the garden changes. Many of these plants were from Aggie's garden, these um, irises. This is a, a strawberry, native strawberry. Um, you're going to know what most of these things are. You see, I, I put in this, these little stuffs, but there's just all these weeds. It's very distressing. Um, Blue-eyed grass, you weed. Uh, this is only a few years old, maybe three years old. And, it, you know, bladder pot is just a great plant. It's pretty much flowers all the time. I don't think I've seen it without flowers. And these are really coming back to life. The uh, um, hummingbird sage. We planted some perennials here in the hopes that they will eventually get big. Um, this is a really big weed. I, I can't stand this one. i got to pull this out. Oh, God another one um this flower is one of the first things to flower this ribes um accidentally by someone who didn't know better got cut back here um but it's and it doesn't you know, of course you know this isn't really my fault I've kind of planted on the wrong spot because that orange tree you could cut back the orange tree but the orange tree actually has really delicious oranges this year they're half size i guess because of the terrible heat and in the summer. All of these plants here would probably be gone when you come. These are not my plants. They belong to my friend and they're not native. And uh, she's been keeping them here, but she will take them away. You don't have to do anything. If they're here, just ignore them. Um, this is just the last section here. Uh, for, you know, it doesn't look like much now, but this is really pretty. This is a plant, I forgot what it is, but it has uh, purple flowers, uh, you know, there in the, uh, Kind of, a, I think, summer it's fringe cups, and then there's a yerba buena, which has done really well. Hopefully, it will reappear. These are my little dogs. They're they're going with me. Oh, and I didn't mention. So this was the dog area, um, and it's rice straw. So it doesn't have a bunch of well, it might have a few rice seeds. <clears throat> um, so what happened here was there used to be these big Monterey pines. So there's at least three, maybe four, and they all got bark beetle disease, and they all were removed. Um, so this was just dirt here. So that's why I started putting down the uh, rice straw for the dogs. <clears throat> I think it's really a great mulch too. So you can probably, you know, do something here where you just plant perennials right in or, or whatever. But I, it's I, it's a very good mulch. So you, you probably do not want to remove it. And if you look here, you see this tree. I don't know what this is. Uh, but you see, the reason it's tilted like that is because the, there was this huge, huge pine tree over there on the corner. In fact, in where the pine tree used to be, that really big one, it, it doesn't, stuff doesn't grow as well, though it seems to be better now. But that's why it's tilted like that, and you can see at the very top it's starting to go straight again. Well, that's it, but I want you to, to know that you can call me or email me if you have any questions or just to keep me updated on the garden. Um, I hope you will enjoy working on it as much as I have in creating it and managing it. Okay, bye.